Good morning, everyone. Thank you for doing your devotions with me today. We are in 2 Samuel chapter 17, verses 1 through 14. Let's pray together. Father, we thank you so much that we can come spend this time in your word, O oh Lord God, and pray that you would just speak into our hearts through it. Allow us to draw near to you, O oh Lord God, as you call us, O oh Lord God, into your presence. Use your word, O oh Lord God, to convict us and to Lord God, lead us to life in your heart, so that we may follow after you. Lord, we thank you, God. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. So, 2 Samuel chapter 17, verses 1 through 14. Ahithophel said to Absalom, I would choose 12,000 men and set out tonight in pursuit of David. I would attack him while he is weary and weak. I would strike him with terror, and then all the people with him will flee. I would strike down only the king and bring all the people back to you. The death of the man you seek will mean the return of all. All the people will be unharmed. This plan seemed good to Absalom and to all the elders of Israel. But Absalom said, Summon also Hushai, the archite, so we can hear what he has to say. When Hushai came to him, Absalom said, Ahithophel has given this advice. Should we do what he says? If not, give us your opinion. Hushai replied to Absalom, The advice Ahithophel has given is not good this time. You know your father and his men, they are fighters, and as fierce as a wild bear robbed of it, her cubs. Besides, your father is an experienced fighter. He will not spend the night with the troops. Even now he is hidden in a cave or some other place. If he should attack the tro your troops first, whoever hears about it will say, There has been a slaughter among the troops who follow Absalom. Then even the bravest soldier whose heart is like the heart of a lion will melt with fear, for all Israel knows that your father is a fighter, and those with him are brave. So I advise you, let all Israel from Dan to Beersheba, as numerous as the sand on the seashores, be gathered to you, with, with you yourself leading them into battle. Then he, we will attack him wherever he may be found. And he will fall in on, and we will fall on him as dew settles on the ground. Neither he nor any of his men will be left alive. If he withdraws into a city, then all Israel will bring ropes to that city, and we will drag it down to the valley until not as much as a pebble is left. Absalom and all the men of Israel said, "The advice of Hushai, the archite, is better than that of Ahithophel." But the Lord has determined to frustrate the good advice of Ahithophel in order to bring disaster on Absalom. Amen. So in this passage, we kind of get a foreshadowing of what the future holds, but um, really, I think to me, what stood out to me was Ahithophel's um, advice and how willing Absalom was to hear it, um, to kill his father. And um, it's interesting how Ahithophel refers to David. He says he calls him the king, and then he calls him the man, but he doesn't ever call him the father. Right? He doesn't ever call him your father. Um, I think that's a deliberate thing that puts distance between him and uh, Absalom and David to just kind of try to avoid the true nature of their relationship, which is father and son, which is really the uh, deepest relationship that they have. And I think it's so tragic how um, Absalom is so willing to kill his his own father. And, you know, we see in David, his unwillingness to bring harm to his own son. And uh, you know, I remember when I was younger, my mom used to tell us, love flows down, right? Love flows down, meaning that um, as parents, we are called to love our children. And love will always flow from, you know, from, from one um, generation to the next. But there is also honor that is supposed to flow up, right? Um, just as the, the, our God commands us, honor 
your father and mother. Today, you know, we're approaching Mother's Day and um, we think about our parents and how we should honor them. Um, really, it's a question of you know, where our hearts are. And for me, as the Lord convicts me, it makes me think about um, the way that I love my parents. Do I love them? Do I honor them? Am I doing my best to truly care for them the way that uh, the Lord describes in his word, the way that we should be um, caring for and taking care of our parents? It's a good reminder for me um, to not get caught up with my own agenda, not get caught up with my busyness, and not get caught up with my own pursuits for my own life, but to be able to look back also and to remember um, how blessed I am to have parents that, look, that love me and parents that really always seek my good and parents who have always led me and pointed me towards Christ. Um, and hopefully for you as well, that today you would spend some time as we are approaching Mother's Day, just thinking about the goodness of the love of our parents um, and that we might learn to honor them. Let's pray together. Father, we thank you so much, O oh Lord God, for this wonderful reminder of what it means, O oh Lord God, to honor our parents, Lord. Forgive us that we are oftentimes like Absalom, willing to betray our family, our parents, Lord God, for our own sake and for our own desires, Lord. But teach us, O oh Lord God, to honor our parents in biblical ways, that we would not ever allow them to become idols of our hearts, but instead, O oh Lord God, just people that we would honor and love. And we are so thankful, O oh Lord God, for your grace today. Lead us to live it out to the fullest in every way. We thank you, God. We pray this in Christ Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, everyone. Have a blessed day today. Bye-bye.